Hi, I'm George, and we'll be doing a fast Photoshop Elements overlay trick here to improve our sky and this image going from this over to that. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share. The more likes and shares I get, the more videos I can do. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. And to learn a lot more about Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay? Let's get to it. We'll start off this Photoshop Elements Overlay Sky Fix by just cleaning up this file. I'll just delete all the layers that we don't need here. These are the overlay layers. Just get rid of that. There we go. Now I'll be using one picture for the Photoshop Elements Overlay in here, and that is this cloud picture right there. We're only using just the bottom part of this actually and we'll be overlaying that on top of the original sky and then doing another overlay of the foreground on top of that. So actually two overlays in one here. Now the first thing we need to do is to make a selection of the sky area that we want to improve. Now notice right down here, it's a little hard to see, I'm going to zoom in on this right back there, there's some really faint mountains right back in here. We want to keep those mountains in the picture. We'll be using the magic wand and to keep those mountains we want to bring down the tolerance down. I'm going to bring it down to about 5. Make sure you have this checked at contiguous right there and set for a new selection. Then come in here and select right next to those and notice that it actually has grabbed the area around that. Now it's not getting enough out here, it's not quite getting the edges as you can see there. So that 5 is not quite the right setting. I'll just click in here and delete that. Or just deselect this way. There we go. Let's bring this up to 10. And we'll try that again right above the clouds. Now that looks really good. We've kept that mountain back there and the selection is nice and tied up against the hills. That's just fine. Let's now make sure that this switches over here to add, very important, and then come just above your selection and add a little bit more into that like that. Do that again, just a little bit more, and just kind of work your way up. Now as soon as we're above those mountains, we can finish off the rest real fast up here just by grabbing the rectangular marquee tool. And since we changed selection tools, come down and double check your selection type. You want this on add, so make sure you double check that, very important. Now come just up above the upper left hand corner, see that we are right there, just above that. You're just outside, then click and drag and pull that down until that overlaps the other selection but that you're not going into the hills. You know, don't do that. Make sure you're above those mountains on the right hand side and that just fills in most of that selection. Our last little bit in here, just do a little marquee like that and just grab that in as well. So there we go, that selects the whole sky area. Now before we do anything else, let's save this selection. So go up to Select, come down to Save Selection, and give it a name. I'm going to call this one Sky. There we go, choose OK. We now have our selection saved. We now can bring in our next picture in here. Let's go down to the Photo Bin right there. And I'm just going to click and drag. That just pulls it in like that. Now it's not quite large enough as you can see, so I'll go to the left here just a little bit and down and then I'll grab the upper right hand corner and I'll stretch this image out just until it's just a bit larger and that looks nice and then click on our check mark. Now we want to have just the bottom part of this. The top part I don't care about, we'll be covering that up anyway. I want the bottom part and I want it to come down just below that mountain right in there. So let's just pull it straight down until it just begins to cover up that mountain. There we are. Double check your left and right sides that they're not coming inside like that. So that position right there looks good. We're now going to recreate the foreground in here. So go to the background layer, right click on the name and choose duplicate layer and choose OK. Now take this and move this right to the top of your stack. There it is. We can now bring back in that selection and use that for a layer mask up here which will then show us that new sky in behind. Okay, so select, come down to load selection and in your drop down list there's the saved selection, choose OK. And then just click on the layer mask button right there. Makes a layer mask and we're now seeing 
this guy in behind that area, except that we're seeing the wrong part, as you can see. So we need to invert this layer mask. Go up to Filter, come down to Adjustments, and Invert. There we go. We've now just reversed those colors, and now we're using the layer mask to see the ground and to hide the sky area and see that in behind. Now it's a little bit rough on the edge up here on the mountains. We can soften that up by going to the layer mask side. Just double check for your light blue outline and we'll blur this out just a touch. Go up here to filter, come down to blur and Gaussian blur. And I have mine set at a one pixel blur right there. Just real subtle. You can see it kind of there, just a real soft edge. That just softens up the edge of that layer mask. Okay, that's all looking fine. But we had that real nice bit of coloration in here before at the top of that. You can see that if I just hide that layer mask right there, that kind of nice deep blue up there. Bring that back in again. We can bring that back by coming down to the sky layer and then hiding the top part of the sky and showing the original sky through. They'll also hide those top clouds because I only really want the bottom clouds. So on this layer, Click on your new layer mask button right there, add layer mask button. Come over here and click on the gradient tool. And then come just above, just outside of your picture at the top. Hold the shift key down and pull straight down just below that background sky. And what that does is it hides the top part of the sky up here. We see the original sky up here and then it fades into our new sky down below, giving us that nice perspective depth that the clouds give us, but still retaining that nice coloration that we had in the original photograph. Okay, we're almost done. Once this is in, it's really obvious now that the whole foreground here is really kind of washed out. It's not as contrasty as it should be. We can easily fix that. Go up here to the top layer. You will add an adjustment layer in here. Layer, new adjustment layer levels, where it says use previous layer. Just click on that. Choose OK. And now you can see how compressed the image is. The blacks are beginning way over here and the whites are beginning way over here. And our black and white points are outside of that. So you want to be pulling these into basically where the main histogram change happens. Or just in just before that, like right about in here. That's pretty good. I don't want to go too dark. It begins to block up our blacks. You can see that right there. We want to pull it in quite a ways and get a lot closer to the beginning of this curve. Same thing on the right hand side, just pull that in, that increases our contrast and makes for a much snappier looking picture. There we go. We can now compare this to the original. I'll come back to the background layer, right click where it says background, duplicate layer, choose OK. I'll now just pull this layer to the very top of our stack. So there's the original and I'll hide that and there's our fix. So I think we've really improved the picture a lot. I mean, it's a nice picture. It just had a few issues. Putting the clouds in the background adds more perspective to the picture and then increasing the contrast in the foreground really helped make it pop. So there we go. Pretty quick, pretty easy fix and making this a much better picture by doing this Photoshop Elements overlay of some clouds in the background. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to click on the like button and also click on the share button as well. And click on subscribe if you haven't already done so. Click on the little bell icon to get notifications of my new videos. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.